Yo, what is happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is a show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now a couple of shows ago, I was telling you how to get that poor man's Windows 7 for those of you that couldn't afford the upgrade, myself included. But I think someone likes me, because I got Windows 7. First thing I tried to start doing was pimping it out. I'm gonna share those with you. Today, we're talking about the Rocket Dock. So let's get started, guys. Now, you've seen me do some pimps on OS X, and uh, we did some pimps on, uh, on modifying your dock and, and, and that good stuff. Huge fan of the dock now that I've spent some time working with OS X. Now, Windows 7, as awesome as it is, and I do love it, they didn't actually include a dock. I guess the improved taskbar could kind of, I don't know, maybe double as one, but it's not quite the same thing. So I went out looking for one that actually runs so smooth you think that the developers had included it with Windows 7, and that's called the Rocket Dock. And our friends at punklabs.com are the ones that brought that out to us. And uh, best of all, it's free. So let's get started. Uh, first place you want to want to go to is rocketdoc.com, and that's where you're going to download the file. Uh, it's going to come in a zip format. Uh, you can see I've already got mine downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. It just comes in a zip format. Extract it to where you want it. Then you're going to run that application. You're installed. So having said that, let's go see what I've already got going on with mine. So I'm just going to go to the side here. Now the way I've got mine configured is I like to keep it hidden because I like to keep that clean desktop. And that's one of the beautiful things that I found about Windows 7 as well, is my desktop isn't near as cluttered as it, uh, as it was with XP. Um, with this dock installed, I can have a completely clean desktop. Well, not completely clean, but I'll show you that in a second. So the icons that you would normally have on your desktop, like your recycle bin or my computer or network places, those are all in the dock now. Uh, and even other shortcuts that you would have had before, like Firefox, for example. We can just drag that over to my dock, throw it in. You've probably seen that somewhere before. And then we can get rid of this guy. Bye-bye. So that uh, gives me that clean desktop, which is going to show off those future pimps that we're going to show you in the next couple of episodes even better. So uh, let's check out some of the other stuff you can do with it. Uh, we're going to customize this, and this is actually the beauty of it. Because if you saw some of the episodes I did before on, uh, on modding your OS X dock, you saw that it was, uh, it was a, little bit of, uh, a little bit of steps involved. This one, uh, not so much. It's super, super easy. So the first thing we're going to check out is the general options. And nothing much to see here, but one thing I did select was to run at startup, so that way I don't have to worry about it. As soon as my OS starts up, there's my dock. Um, now the uh, customization stuff that you can do is, uh, is really cool as well. And the thing that I loved about this was the themes. Uh, these come with so many themes right out of the box, it's great. I chose Vista Black just because it gives it that nice, uh, darker, clear black look to it. But you can go down to uh, uh, Proto Clay, for example, and that gives you that nice orangey look or what have you. Um, another thing you can do that is really cool as well, and you've probably seen this before uh, somewhere else too, is the position. And you can move that around as well. Uh, I've got mine over on the left, but uh, one thing that we can do that the OS X users can't is put that dock on the top. Suckers. But uh, I think I'm going to throw mine back on the left because uh, that's kind of where I like it. And I'm pretty particular about those kind of things. Guys, make sure you let me know what you think of Rocket Dock. I want you to get it installed it on your Windows 7. Let me know if you think it's better than the OS X version. And Microsoft, if you're listening, the Windows users, we want a dock. Hook us up, all right? That is today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. Find out where to download the Rocket Dock. Make sure you tune in next time because we're pimping Windows 7. I'm Lucas. Keep it unique. See ya!